Hi, my name's Emily and welcome to Sweet Creek Parents. In today's video, I'm so excited to share how to make this adorable little um, fish um, stacking for cats. And so this is using the same granny stitch that I um, used to make this um, large granny stocking and this little mini granny stocking. And I also have a dog bone stocking version on my blog and my YouTube channel. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link right in the description box down below. And you, or you can just click on my little, um, it says Sweet Cake Patterns. You can just click there and you'll be brought to my YouTube channel that you can find all of them. So anyway, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little fish stocking for cats and so let's get started. Now one thing I want to mention before I get started is that you can purchase the ad-free PDF in my Etsy shop and in my parent shop and I'll put a link down for, below for that and there's also a free um, blog post written for this little stocking. So let's get started making this. Now I want to note two things. First that if you want to do this black eye while you're still um, crocheting it, so you want to crochet it and not embroider it on at the end, you can always just on round number 18, um, on the ninth stitch, just put the, um, just switch the yarn to black and then just switch back for the rest of round number 18. And then also this fin is super cute. You can move it in and out, but you can always attach it flat if you want to and then the, this is also functional so you can put whatever little Christmas gifts you want to give to your cat in here so let's get started making this adorable little fish So the supplies that you'll need today um, is some Red Heart Super Saver yarn. This is in the color Light Sage. And you'll need some of this. You won't need all of this for sure, um, but some of it. And then you'll also need some faux fur yarn for the cuff. Um, and this is a line brand Gopher Faux in the color Husky. Um, it's this really pretty gray and white, um, there we go, gray and white fur yarn. So this is not, this is their number six super bulky weight yarn. They also have something called Line Brand um, Go For Faux Thick and Quick. And that's their number seven weight yarn and you do not want to use that, at least not for this project. So I'm going to set that aside. Then you'll need some scissors, obviously a darning needle, and you'll need a five millimeter crochet hook for this pattern. What you're going to do is to begin, you're going to grab your 5 millimeter hook and your green yarn and you're going to begin by making um, a slip knot and we're going to chain 48. So you're, to make a slip knot, what you do is you're going to put the yarn at the base of your hand, then you're going to wrap it around your finger twice. You're going to grab the back loop, bring it to the front, and then grab the new back loop and bring it up and over and off your finger. And then you're just going to tighten using your working yarn strand. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put it on the hook and we're going to chain 48. So one, two, three, four, five. To make a chain, you just yarn over and pull through. And that is one chain. So now I'm just going to do these 48 chains off camera and then I'll meet you right back. All right, so as you can see, I finished chaining 48. And now what we are going to do is we are going to um, you're wanting to make sure that the chain is straight and then you're going to slip stitch to the first chain. So I like to just um, run my fingers down, making sure it stays straight. And then I'm just going to make a slip stitch. So I'm going to insert into the first chain right here. And then you're just going to yarn over, pull through and pull through. And now you have a connected circle. And now what you're going to do is you're going to, for round number one, you're going to chain two and you're going to um, double crochet cluster into the first stitch. Now what double crochet cluster means for this whole pattern is um, three double crochets into one um, chain or into one space. Um, and so that is what double crochet cluster means. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, double crochet cluster or double crochet three into the very first chain right where right here where we did a slip stitch. 
there you go so right here and to make a double crochet you just gain yarn over and insert your hook you yarn pull through yarn pull through two and yarn over pull through two and then you're going to do that two more times so a total of three double crochets into that one chain now what you're going to do is you're going to skip um um skip three chains one two and three and into the fourth chain you're going to make a double crochet cluster and you're just going to do that all the way around so into the fourth chain make a double crochet cluster or double crochet three into that one chain and i will meet you once we have finished round number one and then i'll show you how to um continue okie dokie so as you can see i have finished um this round number one and you can see that it looks really good. Now we have three chains left, one, two, and three. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slip stitch the first double crochet that you have. So that's like your, um, that's like your between your clusters. You have three chains always. So that's basically what that counts for. Now you're just going to make a slip stitch to the first double crochet. Let me undo that real quick and I'll show you it. So you can see here's the first double crochet, you're just going to insert, yarn pull through, and pull through. And now you have a nice connected. Make sure that it is um, all facing up and it doesn't like get twisted. And then you slip stitch it and then you have now a twisted stocking. That won't be very fun. <laughs> so just make sure you don't do that. Now I'm going to slip stitch once again. Now for round number two, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two like I just did, and we are going to begin by making um, a double crochet cluster into the first two spaces, and then I will tell you what to do next. But before we do that, I want to show you one thing. So on every um, even row, what you're going to do, um, okay, so let me show you. So look, right here was where our two chains were. And then here is our three double crochets. Now, if I were to try to work between the double crochet and the chain, that would be nearly impossible because it's just such a small little space. And plus, even if you could, even if you could, you would end up with a very um, kitty wampus um, like uh, slip stitch to join area, and it probably even go to the front of your stocking, which would not be good. So what you're going to do is you're going to for all the even rows, so all the odd rows will be like that and then all the even number rows so like two four six eight you're going to work into this space right here so not between the chain or the double crochet into the very first space so right here and now we are going to just double crochet three or double crochet cluster into the first two spaces so that was one space and i'm going to do that in the next space real quick on camera and once you have finished that, which I just did, now you're going to double crochet, increase cluster into the next space. So all that means is right here, and I like to, when I do uh, work into the space, I actually really work into the space. I don't go into that stitch, just because it makes it look more clean. So you can see, if I were to work into the space, you kind of would see like a little spot where instead if you just work in the space it looks much more clean and neat okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to double crochet increase cluster into the next space and that just means double crocheting six into this space right here so it's going to be a very loaded little double crochet space you're just going to double crochet six so we have one two three four five now you're just going to make one more double crochet into that one space so you can see that is what it should look like it should almost look like um if you've ever done a shell stitch that's kind of how shell stitch looks shell stitches look like okay now what you're going to do is you're going to double crochet cluster into the next five spaces so i will um meet you back once you have finished um double crocheting clustering into the next five spaces and i'll show you what to do next Okay, so I just finished double crocheting, uh, double crochet clustering into um, each of the five spaces. So you can see here was our increase and I just did one, two, three, four, and five clusters. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we did on this side. We're, so we're gonna do a double crochet increase um, cluster into this space, also known as double crochet six. So we are going to do that real quick into this space right here. 
two, three, and this is just six regular double crochets. There's nothing fancy about them. Um, four, five, and six. And so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double crochet cluster into the last three spaces. So we will then be done with round number two. So I'm just gonna do this on camera real quick because it doesn't make sense for me to pause it and then start up again. Um, so two clusters and then just now once, so let me show you this. So once you've come back, now because you didn't work between the chain and the double crochet, um, so on every even row then you're gonna work into this, into this space right here. So we're still um, right here. So now I'm just going to double crochet cluster into that last space. And if you're wanting to just double check that you did everything right, you should end up with 14 clusters at the end of round two. Um, so if you're including this, and that's if you're including this um, double crochet increase. So these will, this counts as two separate ones. So you should have 12 plus um, two for the increases. So now, you're going to slip stitch two, join. You're going to chain two. And for round number three, what you're going to do is you're going to um, double crochet cluster into the first three spaces. Now, this is an, an uh, odd number row, so this is round three. So you can see between the chain and the double crochet, we have quite a nice space right here. So we are going to do our double crochet cluster into this space. So it kind of alternates, it does alternate rounds. So on this round, you really couldn't work between the chain and the double crochet. And on, on um, this round, you can. So now we're gonna work into that. And then on the next round, which will be the even number, which is four, uh, round four, you're gonna work into the space and not between the chain and double crochet. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna do two more clusters. So you um, double crochet cluster into the first three spaces. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am still recovering a little bit from sickness. I have just really been on the struggle bus of not recovering quickly from sickness. Okay, so now we have three clusters. And now what you're gonna do is you come to the double crochet um, increase cluster thing right here. So you're going to just work into the middle. So you're going to count one, two, three, double crochets over. And right there in the middle, you're going to do another double crochet increase cluster into this space right here, or so-called space, <laughs> lack thereof. Um, and you're just gonna work six double crochets into the, here. Now this will be a little bit tough to get all the double crochets to fit into there, but you're just working into the space and so you just kind of separate as you go and it normally works for me. So, one, two, three, four, five, and one more, six. Now you're going to double crochet cluster into the next, um, uh, one second, next six spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you're going to do the same double crochet increase cluster, but I'll meet you back once I get to this side and I'll show you what to do. Okie dokie. So um, we did our first, um, our six clusters across. Now you can see we came back to this good old trusty increase from the last row. And so we're just going to do the increase into um, the middle of the last row's increase. That sounds really confusing. But all we're going to do is just separate this um, between the three increases on each side, and you're just going to double crochet six into the middle of that. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we are going to just double crochet cluster into the last three spaces. So one, um, two, and three. Okay, so I'm 
going to just show you kind of what we're going for right now. So as you can see, we have finished um, round three, obviously, and basically your increases will be on the corners. So should be on the corners at least. So on this side and on this side, you have increases. Now, what we're going to continue to do is we're going to continue to go out and then we're going to slowly go back in and come um, meet at a point. So I'm sorry, this one is definitely not finished, this um, little fish stocking, but just the one I have on hand. So as you can see, we're starting, here, let me go like this. We're starting here and we're going up to the tip right here. So we started right here and then later we'll come on, we'll come back and add the fur on. So we're basically going right up this way and then we'll um, finish off down here and then we'll come back and do the cuff and all the other stuff. So now for round number four, uh, you're just going to slip stitch to join at the end of round number three and you should have 16 clusters at the end of round three and obviously that again includes the increase cluster. Now you're going to chain two and you're going to um, for rounds four and five, you're just going to double crochet cluster in each space around. So this is an even row, an even number, round four, we're beginning with. And so I'm going to go into this space over here because you couldn't go into between the chain and the double crochet. So I'm going to go over here. And for rounds four and five, I'm just going to double crochet cluster in each space around. And you're just going to, um, right here when you come to the increase, you're just going to act like they're two separate increases. You're just going to do a th um, three double crochets in the middle between them, and then you're just going to continue going around. So that's all you're going to do, and I'll meet you back at the end of round number five. All right, so um, I just finished rounds number four and five, and I just wanted to show you, so this is how it looks. So we went be I went on round four, I went between the increase, and I just did three double crochets into that, and then on the next round, I just went um, into the spaces between them. So now for round number six, um, we did a slip stitch, now we're gonna chain two. And to begin round six, you're going to double crochet cluster into the first three spaces. So to do that, um, this is uh, the even number round, so we're gonna work into the first space and not between the chain, double crochet, as kind of obvious. We are going to double crochet cluster into the first three spaces. And I'm just going to do this on camera real quick. And now we are going to, once I finish this third cluster that I'm on, one, two, three, there we go. So we did our first three clusters. Now we are going to go, you can kind of see, on rounds two and three, we went right about here and did our increases. And so we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna do our increase into this um, next space. And you can see it's kind of in line with where we did the increases of the previous round. So we are gonna do six double crochets into this um, space right here. Uh, four, five, and six. And now for um, the rest, we're going to double crochet in the next seven spaces. So all the way to the other side. And I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll meet you back um, once we have finished that and we'll continue round number six. Okay, so I did the seven uh, clusters across. Now we are to the other side where you can see we've done increases before on previous rounds. Now we're going to just do a double crochet increase cluster into this one or AKA six double crochets into this space right here. So I'm at three, four, five, and six. Now we are going to um, double crochet cluster into the next um, four, into the last four spaces. So I will do that um, off camera and then I'll meet you back when we are done with round number six. All right, so we have finished round number six and I'm just getting a slip stitch to join. Oop, there we go. <laughs> okay, and now for round seven through 14, so for the next, um, I think that would be eight rounds. 
Yep, for the next, so for the next eight rounds, um, so for round seven through 14, so eight rounds, we are going to um, just double crochet cluster in each um, space across, around. So um, you're going to just chain two and double crochet cluster in each space round, and then you're going to slip stitch to join, and then you're just going to do the same thing for the next eight rounds. And then I will meet you back when we, um, when we have completed that. And remember, when you work into that increase right here for round number six, you're just going to work between them, and you're just going to do a normal cluster between the in, uh, between the three double crochets like you normally would. And so now I'm going to complete the next eight rows and I will meet you back when we have completed that. Okie dokie. So as you can see, this is what it is looking like currently. And we have, I just completed round number 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to slip stitch to join like we've always done. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see that the tail here to begin with, oh, there we go, the tail here to begin with, and this where I'm starting here is almost perfectly straight. And so that's the magic, or um, that's what happens when you do um, every other round going out and in. It stays almost perfectly straight, which is just awesome. So now we are going to begin the, um, decreases to um, start closing the fish off. So like this. So you can see we've gotten to here. Now we're gonna start doing the decreases. So let me show you what to do. So for round number 15, we are going to chain two. Okay, so now for round number um, 15, we're going to double crochet cluster into the first three spaces. Now remember that this is an odd number it's odd round, or the number is 15, so it's odd. So you're going to go into right here between the chain and the double crochet. And you can see that that's kind of obviously where you should go. There's a big space that would be um, empty if you didn't. Okay, so now we just did our first cluster, and I'm going to do two more clusters. One, two, and now I'm to my last cluster. And then, okay, so I just did those first three clusters. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to do a double crochet cluster decrease. That sounds very complicated, but it's super simple. So all you're gonna do is into the next space, you're just gonna do two double crochets. So one double crochet and then one more double crochet. So just two double crochets. And then into the next space, you're just gonna do one double crochet. So you're not gonna, normally you do three double crochets into this one space. Instead you're doing two double crochets into this first space and then one double crochet into this next space. And that is a total of three stitches and that counts as one cluster. So now we have one less cluster on this side and that will lead to it, it um, doing the shape in towards like the point. So, um, I hope that makes sense. But when we come back on the next round, I'll show you, but this counts as one cluster now. So these three stitches, even though they're a tiny bit separate, you wanna make sure that they count as one cluster. So now we're going to into the next um, uh, seven spaces. You're just going to make a double crochet cluster. So we did that only one double crochet into that one space. And so now we're just going to do a normal cluster into the following space. So into this next space. One, two, and three. And so you can see it really pulled it in on that side and that's gonna make a nice curve in. So now I'm gonna do that into the next um, seven spaces, double crochet cluster into the next seven spaces and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so I just finished the seven clusters um, going this way across and now we are going to do the decrease once again. And all you're gonna do for this decrease is you're gonna do the exact same thing you did on that side. So into this next cluster right here, or the next space, excuse me, right here, we are just gonna do two double crochets and then into the following space right here, we are gonna do one double crochet into that space. 
and that counts as three double crochets at, or as a cluster you can call it. So now I'm just going to do the last four double crochets and then we will be done with round number 15. Now we have completed round number 15 and you should have 16 clusters at the end of round 15. So we before on round 14 um, we had 18 clusters and now we have uh, 16 clusters. So we just lost two clusters because of those two decreases that we did. So now we are going to slip stitch to join. And you're going, oh, there we go. Slip stitch to join. Okay, so for round number 16, we are going to double crochet cluster in each space around. So chain two, double crochet cluster in each space around. Now remember, once you get to this spot, actually I'll just crochet to it real um, quick on camera. Remember that once you get to this spot, you're just going to act like it's a normal cluster. So you're not going to work between the two. Let me show you what I mean. Just again, so that you can make sure that you're doing it right. Okay, so right here is our decrease, you can see. So we have two here, two double crochets here, and then one here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to skip to this space right here. So one, two, and then you're going to count this one as the third. And you're just going to work right where my finger is right there. Um, so that should just basically you're counting those three as a cluster. So there we go. Now I'm just going to finish um, just double crocheting, um, double crochet cluster in. That's probably not a word, but in each space around, and then I'll meet you back. All right. So um, as you can see, we have finished um, round number 16 and you're just going to slip stitch to join. So just make a slip stitch and then you're going to chain two. And for round number, um, let's see, 17, we are going to um, double crochet cluster into the first three spaces. So um, this is an odd number round, so we're going to go work between the chain and the double crochet. There you go. And you're just going to make a cluster into there and then into the next two spaces after. So one, uh, two, and three. There you go. Okay, and now we're going to begin, uh, we're going to do another one of those decreases so that we can continue to close this off and actually get done with it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do a double crochet cluster decrease, AKA work into the next two spaces like we did on um, two, rounds, two rounds ago. So let me show you what I mean. So you're going to double crochet two into the first space right here, in, or into the next space right here. And then you're going to double crochet one into this following space. So you're working over two spaces where you normally would do two separate double crochet clusters and you're just doing a decrease over that. So like that, there you go. And now we are going to, um, we are going to double crochet cluster into the next six spaces and I will meet you back once I have finished that and we will continue. Okay, so we just finished, I just finished going into the six clusters across and now we are going to double crochet cluster decrease over these two spaces. So just like we did on that other one, into the next space you're going to double crochet two, so one and two, and then into, the, oops, I did it myself, haha, -ha. okay. Uh, double crochet two into that first space and then to the next space you're going to just double crochet one and two and that counts as one cluster even though that's over two spaces like on the other side here. Now we are going to into the next um, into the last three spaces one two and three we are just going to double crochet cluster which just means three double crochet. Um, I just didn't know how to write it otherwise so that's why I wrote it that way. And at the end of this round, you should have 14 clusters or yeah, 
groups of three double crochets. And remember that this counts as one, only one, not two, this decrease. And so that is how you lost two stitches on this round. So now you should have 14 uh, clusters and now you're going to slip stitch to join. And for round number 18, we are going to chain two and we're gonna double crochet cluster into each space around. So just a very simple, basic um, round. And you should have 14 clusters, obviously. And then this is an even number round, so we're gonna work into the first space and not between the chain and the double crochet because that would be very hard to work into and it's not the row that we should, just to keep it straight. I hope that makes sense, but anyway, um, complete this round without me and then I'll meet you back. Okay, so we have finished um, round number 18 and now I'm just going to slip stitch to join like we've always done and now you're going to chain two, so one and two. Then you're going to, for round number 19, we are going to double crochet cluster into the first two spaces. So you can see this is, um, Round number 19, so we're gonna work between the chain and the double crochet right here, that space. And you can kind of tell because on the last round we couldn't have and this time, or we couldn't and this time we can. Um, so you're going to double crochet cluster into the first two spaces and I'm just gonna do this on camera just so hopefully you guys don't have to pause it all the time. And one thing to note is if you ever either think I'm talking too fast or too slow um, because I know that there's a big difference between um, beginners and very experienced people. Um, you can always slow down the video if you go to the bottom settings corner and adjust the playback speed. Okay, so we just finished round number 18 and um, you should have 14 clusters around and I just wanted to remind you that when you do the decreases, right here, me move my hand so you can see it. So here's the decrease of the last round and you just work on both sides, pretending like this is just a normal um, cluster right there. Um, and so you should have 14 uh, clusters around. Now we're going to slip stitch to join like we always have done. And then you're going to chain two. And now for round number 19, we are going to double crochet cluster into the first two spaces. So um, you're just going to go into the first space here. And remember this is an odd um, round 19, which is an odd number. So we're going to work between the chain and the double crochet. There we go. Now I'm going to do one more double crochet cluster. And then we are going to do our decrease. So what you're going to do is you are going to make a decrease by just double crocheting two into the, the first space and then double crocheting one into the next space and that will pull it together. So I'm gonna do that, um, double crochet two, one, two, and then one more double crochet just into the next space and that just pulls it all together. Now I'm going to, into the next five spaces, I'm just going to double crochet cluster um, across and then we're just gonna do the same decrease thing on the side and then we are going to just finish off. So I will meet you back and we will finish. All right, so I just finished the five clusters across and now we're just gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna do two double crochets into this first space right here. And then we are gonna do one double crochet into the next space. And now we are going to double crochet cluster into the last three spaces and at the end of this round which I'm just going to do on camera with you guys as I talk um, you should have 12 clusters so um, we are on the steady decline of numbers which is kind of fun you can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel this is a super quick project and I really enjoy making them okay so I just did my last double crochet cluster I'm going to slip stitch to join now and chain two. And now for round number 20, we are going to do something very similar. We're just going to um, basically do another decrease round. So um, 
you're not going to, this is an even number round, so we're going to go into the first space. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still um, struggling to recover from my sickness. But you're going to go into the first space right here, the double crochet, um, your double crochet cluster will go into this first space because it's an even number of rounds, so we're on round 20. So you're going to double crochet cluster into the first space. And then you're going to double crochet cl uh, cluster decrease over these next two spaces. Now you can see that this is just where, here we go, on the last round we did the decrease right here too. So we're just going to basically work over it and do another decrease on this same kind of, so we're going to have like kind of a, like a area of decreases that we're going to continue to go over and over and over. So now you can see we did just another decrease and that's really bringing it in. Now we are going to double crochet cluster into the next four spaces. So one, two, three, and four. And then I will meet you back when we, I get to that side and we'll do the decrease together and finish it off. Well, I actually got ahead of myself a little bit. So I did the four double crochet clusters and then I just went ahead and did the decrease um, without even thinking. So now I'm going to double crochet cluster into the last, um, it looks like four, uh, three, excuse me, spaces. So right here and here and here. And I will do that on camera real quick just because I don't want to have to stop it again. So this should be 10 clusters at the end of round 20. And we are slowly getting there. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, or you can consider it four or five more rounds and then we will be done. So we're getting close. Okay, so I just finished round number 20. Now you can see that we have the decreases on both sides and you can kind of see, let me turn it sideways so you guys can see this better, that we are kind of getting that shape where, where it gets bigger and then stays the same for a little bit and then starts getting smaller again. And then we will have a little point at the very tip. So now, we are going to begin round number 21. So we are going to slip stitch to join, chain two, and you are going to double crochet cluster into the first space, and then you're going to decrease in the next space because you can see that's where we did it on the last row. So we're going to, this is an eve, um, odd number round, so we're gonna work between the chain and the double crochet. One, two, three double crochets. Now we are going to do a decrease here. And so just a normal, the thing that we've been doing this all this along, so two double crochets into the first space, then make sure you don't go between these three, um, go into this next space. So it counts as one cluster. There we go. Now we are going to double crochet cluster into the next. Um, it looks like two spaces, so one, two, uh, excuse me, we're going to double crochet cluster into the next three spaces. And I'm going to let you guys do this off camera and I'll meet you back. Okie dokie. So we just finished the three clusters across. Now we are going to do our decrease, our good old trusty decrease that we just never stop doing. So two double crochets into the first space and one double crochet into the next space. That counts as one cluster, as I keep saying over and over. And then we're just going to double crochet cluster into the last two spaces right here. One cluster, and I came across a knot. One, two, there we go. Three, one, two, and three. There we go. Now we're going to slip stitch to join. And for round number 22, we're going to chain two. And we are going to continue our decreases. Now, as you can see, this is an, um, an even number. This is round 22. So we are gonna end up working into this space. But you can also see that that's where we just did our decrease on the last round. So we're just going to do it as we normally would. So we're just going to make into this space right here. We're just gonna do a double crochet decrease. So two double crochets into this first space. And then one double crochet kind of going this way into the next space. Then we are going to 
um, double crochet in the next two spaces. One. And you can see that we're coming almost done. So one and two. There you go. Now I finished that. Now we're going to do a double crochet cluster decrease over these two spaces. So into this, two double crochets into the very first space, and then two double, uh, one double crochet into the next space. And then we are going to double crochet cluster into the last two spaces. So one and two. There we go. And now for round number 23, we are basically almost done. Um, so I'm going to slip stitch to join. And you can see this is how it is looking. We are almost done. We just have a little bit that we need to close up. Otherwise, if you put anything in, it will just fall right up the bottom. So we just did our slip stitch and now we're just going to chain two like we always have done. And you can see that this is an odd number around, so it's a 23. And so we're gonna work right here into the chain, um, between the chain and the double crochet. Um, and so we're just going to do two double crochets into this first one and then one double crochet into the next space because we're continuing our decrease, decrease is, excuse me. So two double crochets into the very first between the chain and the double crochet. And then we're going to do one double crochet into the other space right here. Now make sure that you always count that there's one, two, and three, uh, three double crochets. And then you work into this space over here. You do not want to work between them because then that would totally um, lose the point. Okay, now I'm going to double crochet into the next, well, a uh, next space. We are slowly decreasing, so we're now only at one space here. Then we're going to double crochet cluster decrease over these next two spaces. And it's getting a little bit harder for me to show this on camera because it's getting larger and more awkward. Um, shaped, but I will try to continue to show you as best I can. Okay, so I just did the decrease, and now I'm going to double crochet cluster into this next space, and that's the last space that I will work into for this round. And now I'm going to grab the first double crochet, and this is going to be a little bit more of a stretch. You just um, it seems a little bit worse because that, that was a decrease and so it kind of pulled it over. But you're just going to slip stitch the first double crochet like we have always done. And you are now finished with round number 23. Now for round number 24, you're just going to, um, this is going to sound weird, but you're just going to double crochet cluster decrease over all the stitches. So we're just going to chain two. And now this is when it gets kind of tricky to really tricky to show and um, kind of tricky for me to explain. So just try your best to get it right and if it doesn't get perfectly right, that's okay. So to begin, what we're gonna do is we are going to, I know normally we would go into the first space, but the first space is way over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to double crochet into the top of that double crochet between the chain in the double crochet. So we normally would never work into this because this is, um, we normally work into the first space like I just said, but we're gonna just work one double crochet into the top of that first double crochet that we just did a slip stitch into. Then we are going to um, uh, So I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna do one more double crochet into that very first stitch. So two double crochets into that first stitch. Then I'm going to do one double crochet into the next space, like we normally would. And then I'm going to do right here, you can see is where we're going to do another decrease. We're just going to do what we normally would. So two double crochets into the first space. And then right here, where it kind of all joins, we're going to just do one double crochet into that space. Now I'm going to, you can see we have basically come back to the beginning. And I'm sorry, this is, I know this is really probably hard for you guys to understand, but I hope it's just kind of making sense with all the rows that we've done together. So now I'm going to slip stitch to join. And what I like to do, because we have this tiny little bitty hole 
right here. What I like to do is I like to just chain one now. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to single um, crochet around this. So I'm just going to do, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet um, into the front and to the back loop like that. And then we're going to do a, um, a single crochet into the next loop. And then we're just going to cut our yarn. So you can see that is pretty well shut now at this point. And um, you kind of want to make it a point. So if you need to do something different, like make a slip stitch or whatever, just do that because you guys get the idea by now, I hope. Um, and there we go. So now you can see that we have this cute little point and we have finished our fish and it looks really good. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to add the faux fur cuff. And so you're gonna set aside your little bit of green yarn that I have left and we are going to grab the cuff instructions. And to begin, you're going to grab your faux fur yarn. This is the uh, Lion Brand Husky, uh, Lion Brand Go For Faux in the color Husky, like I already have mentioned. Now, I'm going to grab the strand of yarn. And to begin, what you're going to do is you're going to go back up to the beginning where your chains were. So here's the point. And we're going to go back up to the beginning right here. And you're going to find where your... Um, your tail is, and you're going to start right here next to that. So to begin, then we are going to just yarn over and pull the yarn through, chain two like we normally would, and we're going to double crochet cluster into the first um, two spaces, so one and two. And this is a little bit more tricky to see because you can't really see the yarn at all. So just give yourself a little bit of extra time and patience. And if you, I would recommend grabbing a stitch marker, which is what I just did, so that you know where your first stitch is and you can do a slip stitch to that when we, are, when we meet up again with the first stitch. So now I'm gonna do a cluster into here and here. And if you're really struggling, you could even consider going up a little bit on your hook size, but you have to be very careful because that would also kind of change the size of it. But if you needed to, you could always do that. So I just did the two, first two clusters. Now into this next space, uh, this next chain space. So we're just working into the chain spaces between the clusters of the first round. So right into here, we are going to do a double crochet um, cluster increase. So that just means six double crochets into this one kind of chain space, if that makes sense. I'm hoping this is making sense. It's kind of sometimes hard for me to explain things. I don't know why, but I struggle with it. So let's see, I have so far and you're just gonna kind of have to feel for it. So I here's my space between the two. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now one more, six. And now we are going to into the next um, five spaces. We are just going to make um, a double crochet cluster. So you're just basically working right here across. And I'll meet you back when I finish those and we'll do the rest together. All right, so as you can see, I just did my well, you can't really see it, but as you can probably tell, I did my five clusters, and now we are to this other side, and we're just gonna do the same increase, um, so six double crochets into this one space right here. Two, three, four, five, and six, and now we are going to um, double crochet cluster into the last three spaces. So just normal three double crochets into the last three spaces. And once I finish that, which I'm almost done, you should end up with 14 clusters at the end of this round. So two, there we go. And now this is the third cluster. And now I'm going to slip stitch to join. 
So to the first double crochet, which I put a stitch marker into so I can feel easily where that is. Now I'm going to chain two. And I do the exact same thing, which is the alternating rounds of um, odd even. So we did the chain two and the double crochet cluster into that very first space. So now we're going to go into the first space over here. So we're not gonna go between the chain and the double crochet, we're gonna go into here where my fingers popping through. So now I mean to just do a double crochet cluster into the first two spaces. So that was, this is into the first space and I'm going to move my stitch marker over to here. One. And then we're gonna do it in the next space and two. There we go. So now that I finished those two clusters, we are going to um, double crochet it, cluster, increase in the next space. So this is where we had done it on the previous round. So you're going to have to kind of feel for it. So you're going to feel, okay, here's the one space and this is the other space that we just went into. So one, two, three, and then you're just going to kind of have to divide it with your finger. So then you're going to work six double crochets right into where my, right where my finger is. So it's a little bit tough to fit all six in, but just make do and it normally works. So three, four, five, and six. Also one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there we go. Now I'm going to double crochet cluster into the next six spaces. And so I'll meet you back when I've finished that and I will show you what to do next. Okie dokie. So I got a little bit ahead of myself and I just did the double crochet increase cluster just like we did on the other side. So just between the three double crochet, uh, between the six double crochets of the last row, just find the middle and then do six double crochets into there. And then we're, you're just going to double crochet cluster into the last, let's see, this is row one, into the last four spaces. So one, two, three, and four. And now you should end up with 16, uh, no, excuse me, 18 clusters, substitch to join. And this is the, we just finished round number two. So now I'm gonna substitch join, chain two. And for round number three, we are going to get to do another increase. So we are going to do another increase round, excuse me. I should finish my sentence. <laughs> okay, so you're going to double crochet cluster into the first three spaces, and then we are going to double crochet increase cluster into the next space. So I'm going to do the first three spaces and the increase cluster, and then I'll meet you back. All right, so I just did the first three double crochet clusters, and then I just did the increase cluster, which was just between the three or the six double crochets of before, and it was just six double crochets between them. Now we are going to, in the next seven spaces, we are going to do a double crochet cluster into, then we're going to do a double crochet increase cluster, and then we're going to double crochet into the last four spaces. So I'm going to let you do the next seven spaces, then I'll meet you back and we'll continue this. All right, so we just finished these seven double crochet clusters and now we are going to do that same double crochet cluster increase that we did for round number one and round number two. So you're just gonna count one, two, three stitches over one, two, three, there we go, there's the middle. And we're just going to do a double crochet, uh, six double crochets right into there, which just is a double crochet increase cluster. I don't know why I named it that super complex name, but that's just what I named it. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Now we are going to double crochet cluster into the next four spaces. So one, two, three, and four. And then we are done with round number three. And you should end up with 18, um, 18, clusters in at the end of round number three. So two and then three and then one more. So you're going to double crochet cluster into the last four spaces. I hope I said that before. If I didn't, you're going to double crochet cluster into the last four spaces like I just finished doing. And now I'm going to slip stitch to join. Okay, so for round number four, we just finished round number three. You, I made a, um, 
a slip stitch and now I just chained one. Now we are going to, for round number four, we're going to half double crochet cluster into this first space. So this is the even number round, round number four. So we're gonna go into the first space um, and not between the chain and the double crochet. So we're gonna half double crochet into the first space and a uh, half double crochet cluster, I'm sorry, I should have said that. So your half double crochet cluster, which just means three half double crochets into the very first space right here. So now what we're gonna do, let me set aside my mess of yarn. Okay, there we go. Now, so we did it at the half double crochet cluster. Now what we're gonna do is in the next six spaces, we are gonna do a double crochet cluster. So one, and um, because on round number three, we did increases, you will come up so we're gonna do one and two clusters and then you'll come up upon where on the last round we did the six double crochet, oops, man, I'm really struggling, I'm sorry. One second, there we go. Um, so you'll come upon where we did the double crochet cluster increase or six double crochets into the same space, so right here between this and you're just gonna work a normal cluster between the two, so one, two, three, and you're just gonna work between. And then I'm going to continue going around. So I'm gonna do the next, um, I'm gonna do a total of six double crochet clusters. I'll meet you right back and we will continue this. Okay, so I just finished, fin I did, okay, so I just finished uh, my six double crochet clusters. Now we're gonna half double crochet cluster into the next space, which just means half double crochet three times into the next space. One, two, three, there we go. Then into the next space, you're gonna single crochet cluster, which just means three single crochet into the next space. One, two, and three. Then in the next space, you're gonna half double crochet cluster. One, two, and three, there we go. And then into the next, um, into the next uh, six uh, double crochet cluster, uh, into the next six spaces, you're just getting double crochet clusters. So one, two, and then three, four, five, and six. And remember, when you get to this same increase spot, you're just gonna work in the middle between the six, uh, in the middle between the six double crochets. So it's just, you're gonna pretend like they're two separate um, clusters and now I'm going to do the um, six double crochet clusters and I'll meet you back. Okay so I finished um, the six clusters now in the last two spaces you're going to half double crochet cluster in the first space um, so that just means three half double crochets into the first space and then to the last space, you're just gonna do a single crochet cluster. And so why we're doing these um, half double crochets and single crochet clusters is to make there kind of be a bit of a indent here so it looks more like a tail on the fish. So this is gonna kind of pull in and then these are gonna go out. So now for round number um, uh, five, we are going to slip stitch to join, whoa, sorry. You're gonna slip stitch to join now. And you should end up, you should still have 18 clusters. Now for round number um, five, we're gonna chain one and we're going to single crochet cluster into the first space. And then we are going to, so single crochet cluster into the first space and move your stitch marker, one, two and three. Then into the next space, you're going to half double crochet cluster. One, two, and three. And then into the next space, uh, into the next space, you're going to do a double crochet cluster. One, two, and three. And then into the next two spaces, so over the next two spaces, you're gonna do a double crochet cluster decrease, which is the same thing that we have done on the green part of the stacking. So now we're just gonna do it with the faux fur. So you're just going to do a double crochet in the first, uh, two double crochets into the first space, and then one double crochet into the next space. Oh. Okay, so you're going to have, uh, so we just finished our double crochet decrease. Now you're going to double crochet in the next, uh, cluster into the next two spaces. So you're gonna do one more double crochet cluster. We just did one and now I'm gonna do one more. And then we will, so just a little recap, we have, we did a single crochet cluster, half double crochet cluster, 
a double crochet cluster, then we did a double crochet decrease cluster sort of thing. Then we did two double crochet clusters and now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a half double crochet cluster into the next space. So two, three half double crochets. Then you're gonna do a single crochet cluster into the next two spaces. So one, and then two, there we go. And then you're going to do a single, or excuse me, I'm sorry, you're, so you did it, so we just did a half double crochet cluster, then you did two single crochet clusters into the next two spaces, so single crochet cluster in the next space, and then in the next space two, and then we're going to do a half double crochet cluster into the next space. So we're kind of doing similar to what we did in the last round. So we did half double crochet cluster, single crochet cluster in the next two spaces, half double crochet cluster. And now we're going to, let's see, we are going to um, half uh, double crochet cluster into the next space. One, two, three double crochets. And then we are going to, this feels like the spot to do it. So we are going to half uh, double crochet cluster decrease over this next uh, these next two spaces. So one and then two, and then we are going to. You can see that we are coming back to where we started. You're going to half do or double crochet cluster. Excuse me into the next two spaces. One and then two. And then, my arms are getting tired, I'm sorry. Um, you're going to half double crochet cluster into the next space. My brain is also start, starting to get kind of fried out, so I'm sorry if I am not making as much sense as I used to. I will try my best. So we just did a half double crochet cluster, and now we're going to single crochet cluster into the very last space. And now you have completed round number five. We're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet to join, chain one. So, okay, so for round number six, what you're gonna do is you're gonna single crochet cluster into the first space right here. So you're gonna move the stitch marker real quick. There we go. One, two, three single crochets into the first space. You're going to half double crochet into uh, half double crochet cluster into the next space. Then you are going to, as you can feel, there's our um, decrease coming up right here, and so we're just going to go ahead and do our double crochet decrease, a double crochet cluster decrease over this next two spaces. So one, two double crochets into the first space. I'm sorry, my yarn is getting stuck. There we go. So two double crochets into the first space and then one double crochet into the next space. Make sure you do not go between the this because you can't see your um, work. So just make sure you count one, two, and three. Make sure you feel for that. So then we're gonna go like that. Then we are going to double crochet cluster into the next space. Then we are going to half double crochet cluster into the next space. And you can kind of catch the idea now. So we're going to single crochet cluster into the next three spaces. So one, and then two, and it's, you're, it's a little bit harder because those were single crochet clusters before. And so it's kind of harder to feel where that those spaces are, but just, feel the best you can, and if you mess up a little, it's okay, it's faux fur, you'll never see it. So now we did our three clusters, now you're gonna half double crochet into the next space. My yarn is getting stuck again. There we go. So now I just am doing a half double crochet cluster into this space, so one, two, and three. Now you can feel that here is our decrease next, or here's our next decrease. So we're gonna do a double crochet two into the first space. And then you're going to make sure you count one, two, three uh, double crochets over and do a double crochet into the next space. Now you're going to 
double crochet into the a double crochet cluster into the next space one two and three Whoop, three and then you're going to double or I'm sorry you're going to half double crochet cluster into the next space my brain is getting really fried so half double crochet cluster into the next space and then double crochet uh, single crochet cluster into the last two spaces so one and then two and you should end up with 14 clusters at the end of this round so you're going to slip stitch to join and you have completed your adorable little um you have completed your adorable little fish um tail or whatever you want to call it it looks super cute now what we're going to do is we're going to cut our yarn and we are going to make the fin next and the hanger and so I'm going to cut my yarn and then we'll begin the fin and hanger okie dokie so now it is time to begin the little um, fin for this little fish so this is what the inspiration is from um, and so now we're gonna make a little fin on this guy so I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna grab your trusty old five millimeter hook and you're going to grab your green yarn and to begin you're going to chain 15 so I'm going to make a slip knot to make a slip knot all you do is you just wrap your yarn around your finger twice grab the back loop bring it to the front grab the new back loop bring it up oops bring it up and over and off your hand then you're going to tighten tighten onto your hook now you're going to chain 15 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen and fifteen now you're going to so now i just finished chain fifteen now you're going to um double crochet three into the third chain from hook so the looping hook does not cause a chain you're going to skip the first two chains and you're going to double crochet into the third chain from your hook so to make a double crochet you just yarn over insert yarn pull through yarn pull through two yarn pull through two and you're going to do that two more times into that very same chain so i'm going to do that real quick here there we go and now you're going to chain uh, you're going to skip three chains and then into the fourth chain so one two three and then into the fourth chain you are going to double crochet cluster or double crochet three whatever you want to call it so two and three double crochets now you're going to do that just all the way across so one two three and into the fourth chain you're going to double crochet cluster and then we're going to have one more um, cluster left over to do so we'll have four um, four chains so one two three into the fourth chain double crochet cluster and then you have finished round a uh, row number one so I am doing my last double crochet right now oh, it's a little hard for me to pull through there we go so there we go now I'm going to chain two turn my work and what we're gonna do is we are going to start kind of decreasing so it kind of is like a triangle basically so what you're going to do is you're going to begin by making so we chain two and turned now you're going to double crochet into the first stitch right there where my thumb is right here so you're just going to double crochet into the first stitch then you're going to sorry i'm getting hairs stuck to my yarn now you're going to um, double crochet cluster into this spot right here <clears throat> then you're going to double crochet cluster into the next um, two spots or three yeah two two spots one and I'm sorry I'm in a bit of an awkward position so I'm crocheting ten times slower than I normally would so two and three there we go and now I'm going to just double crochet into the last stitch one two three into the last double crochet of the round or the of the last row and as you can see 
it's not 100%, but it's starting to bring it a little bit together. It's not um, perfect, but it's starting, to, it's starting to get there. So now we're going to do this for the next couple of rounds. So we're going to do it for the next, looks like two rounds. So chain two, turn your work. You're going to double crochet into that first stitch where you just did that. There you go. Now you're going to skip to this next space right here. You're not going to go between the double crochet and the cluster because that would actually end up being like an increase and you get more clusters. So you're going to go right here between the two clusters. One, two, three. Now you're just going to do that into the next space also. And then now you should come to this side and you'll be able to just double crochet into the very last stitch. So right there. Let me bring it a little closer. Right there into that last double crochet. And now you can see it's really coming together. Now what we're gonna do is for round number, or row number four, you're just going to double crochet into the very first stitch. And we're just kind of doing this so it has a roughly nice even edge. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be pretty nice. And then we'll be able to um, put faux fur around on it. So there we go, double crochet into the first stitch, double crochet cluster into the next space. So right here, and you should end up with only one cluster at the end of this round. So now I'm going to double crochet cluster, or double crochet into the last stitch. So we only have one cluster. So we have one double crochet, a cluster, and one double crochet. Now you're going to chain two. And this is where I am a little bit, um, what I'm gonna do, Okay, so no, what I'm gonna do now for round number five is I'm just going to double crochet into the very first stitch. Then I'm going to double crochet into the um, stitch between the three. So there's one, two, three stitches. I'm just going to double crochet into the second stitch. We're just basically, and then we're going, I mean, double crochet into the last um, double crochet. So that is what it should look like. There you go. Now we're going to chain two, turn our work, and we're just going to do double crochet three together, or double crochet decrease over these last three stitches. So we're just going to yarn over, insert, yarn, pull through, yarn, pull through two. And then instead of yarning over and pulling through both of these loops and finishing it, you're just going to yarn over and insert into the next stitch, yarn, pull through, yarn, pull through two. And then you're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert, yarn, pull through, yarn, pull through two. You should have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. And there we go, there's our little fin. Now I'm going to cut my yarn, which, let's see, here's my scissors. There we go. I'm going to cut my yarn, and then we're gonna grab our faux fur yarn. So cut your yarn, grab your faux fur yarn, and I'm just now going to do, basically going around the edge. So, you can see here was our chain across, and that's where we're going to join it to the, let me show you just for this example. So you can see right here is where we joined it. So that's what we're gonna do with where our chain is. So we're gonna have it right here, and we're gonna um, whip stitch that onto the stocking. And now you can see what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do faux fur around only this edge, and you're not gonna go across the top where the chains are. Hopefully that makes sense, but if not, don't worry we will go over it together. So, you are going to start right here where your um, tail was, your um, tail to begin, and you're just gonna start on the side. We're gonna go up, go, and then go down this way, and then we're gonna cut the yarn, and then we'll just sew this flat side that never got faux fur attached um, onto the fish. So, I'm just going to yarn over, pull through, chain one, and you're just gonna single crochet going up. You're still using your five millimeter hook. You're just doing everything simple and plain. And you're going to just go up the side of this. And then once we finish that, so I am going to go up this side. Then once we get to the top here where there's like this point, if you were to just do one um, single crochet into that top, it would end up being kind of, it would get kind of curved and weird. So what I like to do is I like to do three single crochets into that top stitch right here. And I'm sorry, my yarn is getting really tangled. Um, so 
forgive me if you see a big mess of yarn. <laughs> um, now I'm just going to go back down the side. So I did three single crochets into the top. Now I'm just going back down the side. And you want to just roughly go into each space stitch that you can. The goal is to just make it look even. Um, I don't even worry about how many stitches I have. As long as it looks good, it is totally fine. So now I'm going to cut my yarn. And you can set aside your faux fur yarn. I, you will be done, you're 100% done with faux fur yarn, so you can breathe a sigh of relief. So now I'm just going to yarn over pull through. And as you can see, we now have a little fin. Oops. So I'm just going to, so you can see there's the, uh, the chain. We didn't fo do faux fur there, we just did it here. Now I'm going to just tie um, off all these tails and then I'll meet you back and we will sew this on and make the hanger. Okay, so I just finished tying in these tails. Now technically, if you left yourself a really long tail when you started um, this um, fin, you probably shouldn't tie it in because it's easier than having to tie in another piece of yarn, but I just grabbed a new piece of yarn because I hadn't left myself a very long tail. So now I'm going to show you how to attach it to the fish. Now, one thing I wanted to note before I show you how to do this is that at this point you really can decide which way you want to have your stocking face. So if you want to have your stocking hanging from this side, you're going to want to have the fin, um, sorry, you're going to want to have the fin on the more kind of on the right side. So if you didn't want to have the um, stocking hanging from the left right here, you're going to want your fin on the right side. So basically on the opposite side. So if you want on this side, you're going to have it on this side. And if you want on this side, you're going to want on this side, the hanger I mean. So kind of at this point, you're going to choose which way you want to, or yeah, which way you want your stocking hanging from. So from this way or this way. So now that we, now that we've chosen that, and I always like having my, my stockings hang from this, this corner. So technically, um, this is the left corner for me because I'm left-handed. Um, it depends on if you're watching the left-handed or the right-handed video, which are basically the same, just, yeah. So I'm not going to go into the long details. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna count up about four rows. One, two, three, four. And then on the fifth row, you're going to attach it about here. So I like this side better than that side. This just looks better on this side. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four from the top. So of the green clusters, one, two, three, and four. Now, what I'm gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you don't sew the back, the, you wanna make sure you just sew it onto the front side and not all the way through. Otherwise, you'll never be able to use your stocking, like put anything in it. So you're just going to go into the first right here, one, two, three, and four, and on the fifth row, there we go. And then I'm just gonna come back and later probably do a knot on the inside with this yarn. So, and then I am doing it about on the lower, about halfway on the lower side. Now if you're doing it on the other side, you just basically do five rows over like that. So now I'm just going to redo that because that came out. And I'm just going to whip stitch it on. Super simple. And I'm not going to bore you to death as I sew this on myself, as I'm a bit of a sew, a slow. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm just going into the chain and a few stitches on the stocking, making sure to not go through both layers, but just the one layer. Then I'm just gonna go through a little bit of the chain and go through a double crochet and just trying to make it look as seamless as possible and yet done. So I'm going to now just finish this up real quick and then I'll meet you back. So as you can see, I have sewn on this little guy's fin and now what you're gonna do is you, you could always sew this down all the way around if you wanted to, but I like kind of the texture of it kind of coming up. Like, so just having that little bit sewn up down. Okay, now we're gonna make the hanger. So you're gonna set the side once again. You're gonna grab your good old trusty five millimeter hook and your green yarn or whatever color yarn you're using, your four number four weight yarn. You're gonna make a slip knot. 
you're going to and you're going to chain 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll meet you back once I finish chaining, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I just finished chaining 25. There we go. We're not in focus. There we go. Now what you're going to do is you are going to double crochet in the third chain from hook. So the loop on your hook does not come with the chain. One, two, three, and double crochet into there. Then you're going to double crochet, um, you're going to skip two chains, so one and two. And then into the third chain, you're going to make a double crochet cluster. So one, two, three double crochets into that one chain. Now you're going to count f um, four chains over, or three chains over, and then in the fourth. So one, two, three, so three chains over, and then in the fourth chain, you're going to make a double crochet cluster. And then you're basically going to repeat that across. So you're just in the fourth chain, you're going to make a double crochet cluster. One, two, three. In the fourth chain, make a double crochet cluster. One, two, three double crochets. There you go. Then we're going to go one, two, three into the fourth. One, two, three. I'll let you finish this up so that I don't make this video forever long and then I will meet you back. All right, so I just finished this up and now you should have three chains left. So you're going to count two over and then into the third chain, you're just going to make a double crochet. And now you have completed your um, little hanger. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave myself a nice long tail to um, sew the hanger on. Then I'm going to tie off and grab my um, darning needle and my stocking. And what you're gonna do is you're going to, whoops, you should be done, there we go. Now you're going to grab your short, what I like to do, this is just what I've done after making tons and tons of stockings, is I like to take this little short tail and I like to put it onto my darning needle. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make like a little ring. So you're going to hold it where your yarn's coming from and then bring it down to this side just like you would picture a hanger being. And then you're just gonna go into this front area and then the back. And I just like to use this little tail to sew these two back and forth enough that they're staying secure so I can just sew them together and not have to do both at once. So there we go. Now I'm just gonna leave this tail in the back and then I'm going to tie a knot with this long tail and that tail in the end. If you don't want to do this exactly how I'm doing, that's totally fine too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to feel, you can feel that right here is where my um, kind of corner edge that I want to sew it onto. So I'm going to flip it out, hold it down right where my hanger, I want my hanger to be. And then I'm just going to go into the little bit of faux fur and the thing. Then as you're sewing it on, I would just recommend making sure that's still in the corner and not getting onto the side as I've <laughs> as I've had that mistake several times before where I think it's oh perfect and then as I'm when I'm done and tied it off I'm like oh that was terrible. That's a pain. So I'm now just about done. I like to just go around the perimeter of this and just make sure it's each is secure. So I've gone here, 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 and I'm just going to go right here to secure it. And you can secure it more if you want or less if you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right through to the back and you can see right here between where this hanger is now and the faux fur, the last row of the faux fur, I'm just going to make a knot here so no one will ever see it. But it's a, like a nice little way of making sure that this is secure and never going <laughs> to fall off your mantle or wherever you're going to put it and that would be just a disaster. So we're just going to make sure this is nice and secure and now that we are done you're just going to snip your yarn. I like to do like three knots but you can do however many knots you want and there you go. There's your little hanger and your little fin. Now one thing I wanted to note is that on this little fish I decided to put like a little black eye. Now I would recommend if you want to do this, um, 
you can do this as you are making this. So I would recommend maybe on like row, I think this was round 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, so on row 19, on round 19, just like, I think roughly in the middle, just making this a black cluster. Or you can come after the fact and just do what I did and just add a little bit of black. So let me show you how you do that. Okay, so this is, so this is what I'm gonna show you how to do. So on the ninth stitch over, so on round 18 or 19, depending on how you like your eye placement, I'm doing 18 for this fish. So on your 18th round, and then and when you count nine stitches over, um, from like the beginning of the round over, so on the ninth stitch, this is where I'm gonna do my little eye. Now, you can do this however you like, but um, I'm just gonna go under it and then wrap around a couple of times. Now, I would probably recommend if you think of it, and I'll try to mention this in the intro of my video, but if you think of it, I would probably recommend doing it as you're going, just because it sometimes looks a little bit more professional than when you try to do it at the end. But you can do it either way if you haven't, if you decided to just do it now. But either way, whenever you do it, I just think it adds a lot, a lot of um, kind of fun, I don't know, character to your little fish. And so you can see there is about what I'm gonna call good. I'm just going to pull the little black tails to my back side and I will fix all the rest of the mess on the once I'm done, let me push it through the hole right there. There we go. So you can see that is kind of what it looks like. And I just like the little black just because I feel like it adds a little bit of cuteness, but obviously it's a very personal preference. Now that is done and congratulations. Thank you so much for making this super fun little um, crochet cat stocking along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make a new video most Fridays, and so I'd love to see you there. I also um, want to mention that you can check out this next video to learn how to make this little mini granny stocking right here. It's a super fun little pattern, and you can use it as an ornament or whatever you want to. So make sure to click this video.